Boom, viewers, welcome back to the channel. Subscribe as you don't know the thing set. Bless. Hope I'm having a wonderful day today. But you know my style. One bag of bag and the one I gotta continue getting the daily updates on the people you see and don't see on the screen. That's why it's extremely important to watch it. And with that being said, Kamar McGregor is basically clowning Jamaican people for accepting this lousy performance from Chris Brown over in the National Stadium. This is what I said because him say, oh Chris Brown pay our lips to and all of these things. You know what I mean? And he hopes that, like I said, um, Shensi, a Spice, Jada Kingdom, Tiffa, Tanya Stevens, uh, Marcia Griffiths, you know what I mean? He hopes that only will full up the stadium like when we full it up for the lip sync. I am saying I never see a reggae artist lip sync yet. You know what I mean? Um Shensia is not a reggae artist. I know some of them might say Shensia is a big lip syncer, but you don't know the thing said. Let's take a listen to what I go on for now to go on and then we'll proceed. <laughs> Why yo So me I laugh, you know. Me have to laugh. <laughs> Yo. Me a laugh. Yeah. Me a laugh. Me a laugh, right? So, here what? Me is a music producer, right? So, whenever I see artists performing, right? I can tell if the artists are artists, them are lip syncing. You know what is lip syncing <laughs> or lip singing? <clears throat> when when the artist record actually playing and the artists are mimic it, right? Lip syncing. So, may I watch some footage from Chris Brown's show in Jamaica? And I just can't believe Jamaican people pay over 10,000 US dollars and whatever the price is to go see Chris Brown lip sync, lip singing. <laughs> oh my God! I can't believe that. So you tell me, say, Jamaican people go borrow a loan. Go borrow a loan for see Chris Brown. A lip sing? No, 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 no. You hear me, say? You see, all of the Jamaican people we go borrow a loan for see Chris Brown a lip syncing. Lip sing? Only better make sure, say, Uno having a uno pick the money for back to school. <laughs> Why? You say to you, me say, the people who borrow loan in Jamaica to go to Chris Brown show. Uno better make sure uno have uno pick the money for back to school because you know it's sad how Jamaican people. Um, you know, pay so much money to see Chris Brown for him to be lip syncing, <laughs> lip singing, right? It's sad. And when Buju Banton was in the national stadium, right? Buju Banton did a wonderful job. And Jamaican people never turn out for Buju Banton the way they turned out for Chris Brown. And Buju Banton actually performed. Right? If you go back and watch um Bujabanton performance performance at at the National Stadium, Bujabanton did a wonderful job. He performed and he talked to the people then, right? And Jamaica people them never come out for support Buju like that. The stadium never full so. But here we are. Jamaican people love foreigner. Yes, they love foreigner. Okay, so when I was growing up, right, my grandmother used to have a cabinet, right, in the house, a cabinet. I see the cabinet, it have been new cup, new spoon, 
knew everything. And guess what? Anyone away, me, my siblings, my cousin, anyone away ever going to the cabinet, but we are drink out of them new cup and plate. They are peel it for weeks. Because guess what? The cup and the plate them at the cabinet are for farina. <laughs> See you or something. May I tell you? May, you may my grandmother so rest in peace. I mean, can't tell you something. But we Jamaica, you know, can can we we'll agree to this? When we are go up, there's a cabinet in the house having pretty cup, pretty spoon, pot, everything. And when we go into the kitchen for eat, I'm here tell you, if no spoon in there, and no cup not in there, we go into the cabinet and take out them, the foreigner spoon and cup and plate. A peer beat do we get? <laughs> yes, because Jamaican people love foreigner. I will put foreigner above our Jamaican people. Because that's how Jamaican people stay. Just love foreigner. So this is why Sharon Burke and her friend in Tricky Wola, you know, just tell Chris Brown, say, no way, sir, just come down there and sing, because they don't care. Because you're a foreigner. <laughs> Them just want to see you. Just come down and come lip sync. It's sad, though. It's sad, though. Them dangle Chris Brown in front of Jamaican people, aye, because Jamaican people are foreigner. It's just sad. It's just sad. And I hope that the people who borrow this loan make sure tomorrow morning they get up and go borrow a loan for said on a pit of them go back to school. Because if we ever see anyone who from Jamaica I make video and a big elf for said on a pit and go back to school. I laugh with a laugh of you know? Because when you take the loan, figure Chris Brown show, figure see Chris Brown lip syncing, lip singing. <laughs> Can't believe 10,000 US dollar. Oh my God, this, I'm a producer, right? I'm a music producer, right? So as I said to you, I can tell when an artist actually singing live. Have you noticed Chris Brown a dance up, dance up and down and a dance and him still hit the notes them? You think I'm stupid? <laughs> you think we're stupid? Come on, no artist can do that. You can do a dance up and down and I do all them kind of stuff there. But when you sing, you know, sound like you're out of breath. Come on. I'm laughing, but it's not a joke. It is not a joke. You know? I hope Jamaican people, I hope Jamaican people, when them put Spice, Shensia, Macadiamond, Itana, even Angel, the Beanie, the Bounty, and our reggae artists them in the National Stadium, I hope our fellow Jamaicans come out and full the stadium to show support to our local and international reggae and dancehall artists who, regardless of how sometimes we have our disagreement, but these artists work very hard, right? Them work hard, trust me. And them don't lip sync in, them don't lip sync. Trust me, they, they perform. And... You know, them give you your money, your money's worth. And I hope, I hope Jamaica people come out and support our dance hall and reggae artists. And I hope the government of Jamaica and Babsy Grange and all of them give our Jamaican artists them the opportunity to perform in the stadium. Give our promoters them the opportunity to keep shows in the national stadium because it should not just be for foreigners not because jamaican people love foreigners you know um our artists them in jamaica should have the opportunity 
to perform in the National Stadium without red tape or, or political affiliated. Because it really sad and it embarrassing that Jamaican people accept Chris Brown come to our country and lip syncing, lip singing. And Jamaican is a poor country. And because the people um, love foreigners, they will do any and anything. I even see, minute, I even see um, um, what's her name? Sharon Burke promoting, get your loans, get your loans, get your loans for Chris Brown, get your loans. I've never seen these people come out and tell ghetto people, say, get on a loan, get on a loan for back to school. No. No. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. But, and this video is no joke. This is this video is not about um, looking at the IPAR views or what, because I'm not looking for that. I'm just a producer who understand the business and I can tell. I'm an engineer as well, right? I'm a sound I'm a sound engineer as well, so I can tell when artists are performing live from their lip syncing, etc. And it's sad. It's sad that Jamaican people pay so much money for, for lip syncing. Lip singing. It's sad. And they should they they should refund back Jamaican people their money. I think they should do that. I think Jamaican people should be ref should get a refund because, I mean, a lot of people in Jam a lot of, I saw a lot of um, a lot of the, the fans who go to the show posting a lot of stuff on Instagram. Oh, he performed so good. Uh, um, I've I've seen comments as well where a lot of, of the Jamaicans are saying, "Oh, Chris Brown perform better than the Jamaican ask them and whatever." Yes. <laughs> Because he's he's lip syncing, he's lip singing. So all of his records, them that play on the radio, that's the same thing they were playing at the, at the national stadium. He was just lip singing. So for TJ and all the other dancer artists, I'm an Idonia and all of them who performed, they did a wonderful job because they were actually performing live. And this is why I said to you, you have to respect reggae and dancehall artists because they don't do that thumbs up for dancehall and reggae artists it's just our government and corruption in jamaica why the people in jamaica don't support reggae more because i can tell you 70 percent of the music that play in jamaica our foreign music. So what do you think of that? The people of Jamaica is going to appreciate foreign music more than reggae music. You know? They they always complain that Jamaicans and Trinidad and Tr the Trinidadian or the Trinidad don't get along. And Trinidad play more reggae and dance all than Jamaica. So, for the show, yeah. So, people only should go out there and tell them to refund back with the money. Yes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put in the comment section what do you think about what he had to say. You know what I mean? You don't know the thing said Chris Brown the pan tour right down at Jamaica and right now the uptown people them feel kinda disrespected that you know them spent millions to see him and now he's chilling in at a ghetto. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sky view versus first points and point of view. You know what I mean? Anyway, people, from just again a quick update you on the night you don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I drop the latest. Bless.